Hello and welcome. This is chapter nine, section one. We're going to talk about midpoints and distance formulas, basically a review of what we've done in the past. So the goal is to find the midpoint of a segment on the coordinate plane and as well as find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. So the first thing is remembering the midpoint formula. That is basically if you have some line segments, let's say we have P Q here with x, y, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Basically, the midpoint is uh, the average of the x's, the average of the y's together to form that new middle point. So that's all we're doing. So this formula will be helpful for finding the midpoint. So actually finding the midpoint of a c in this case. So again, we're just taking the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So basically, you're going to take x's and add them and divide by 2, take the y's, add them, divide by 2. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to label these x1, y1, x2, y2. So then I'm just going to add x1 and y1, or sorry, x1 and x2. So we add 5 plus 7. And then we're also going to add y1 and y2, the y's together, which is 2 plus 8. And then you add those together, divide by 2. If you type it into your calculator, remember you put those in parentheses because order of operations, you have to add on top first and then divide that quantity by 2. So then our midpoint is just simply 6 and then we have 5. And that would be my answer for that midpoint. So then we're talking about a distance formula. So very similar, you have your x1 and y1 and your x2 and y2. Basically, you have some line again two points, and to find the distance, how far it is from point to point, you basically use this formula of distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, the quantity squared, plus y2 minus y1, the quantity squared. How do you actually find that? You actually are going to use Pythagorean theorem to actually come up with a solution. So remember, you'd put a d here, and then basically you are going to have a right triangle if you want to do that, and you can do the side length squared, which in this case, if we do the x2 minus x1 here, so to find this length and the y2 minus y1 here to find this length, then we square both of those. And it doesn't matter, the, there would be an absolute value for those distances, but if you square it, it always is going to be a positive value, so the absolute value just goes away. And that's how you would actually derive that. And we're going to go ahead and apply that in a couple examples here. So the first example we're applying it in is disc golf. So if we were doing some disc golf, which is very similar to golf, except you're using a like Frisbee. Some people like Frisbee golf versus disc golf, which is cool. Um, but in this case, Matt's disc is three feet short and two feet to the right of the basket. So how do we write that or draw that? So I'm just gonna draw a coordinate plane really quickly here. And if we think about it, it is two feet to the right, so that would be to the right over here, so we'd go over two. So let's just go over two. And short would be below the axis, so three would be negative three here, so that's where our point would be here. So then on his first put, meaning he's going to try to get it to this point zero zero, that'll be our, our hole in this case, he accidentally goes four feet beyond, so beyond would be this way, and then to the left would be this way. So going four feet beyond, we'd go up here to four and then one to the left. So we'd have this point here. So we're basically going to find this distance from this one point to the other point. So if you wanted to write them as in coordinates, we have negative one, four, and then we have a positive two comma negative three. Now all we're going to do is just plug it into our general distance formula. So distance is the square root of x two minus x1 squared plus the whole quantity of y2 minus y1 all squared. And that's, again, all underneath this square root symbol, so make sure that continues through. Then we just substitute in our values. So if you want to say this is our x1, this is our y1, this is our x2, this is our y2, it doesn't matter which ones you pick. This could be x2, y2, if this one is x1, Y1. Just remember the numbers have to be the same. Basically, it labels this as point 0.1, point 0.2. And it doesn't matter which point you start with point 0.1. So let's go ahead and do this. The distance is the square root of x2. So x2 we labeled as 2. Minus a negative 1 in this case, all squared. 
plus we're going to take y2, which we said was negative 3, and we're subtracting y1, which was 4, all squared. And to simplify this, we just basically add the middles and then square them. So this is the square root of uh, 3 squared plus 7 squared. So that's 9 plus, what is that, 49, which is 58 here. So let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. So we have a little bit more room here. So our final distance is the square root of 58, which if you wanted to approximate that as a decimal, we get around about 7.6 feet, and that's away from the hole. So, it, or sorry, that's how far it traveled. So we traveled from this putt here to here, uh, a total of 7.6 feet. So that's how far it went. So go ahead and try to practice this one. Um, same kind of setup. Try to draw it first. Um, pause it. I will have an answer shortly. So if you tried it here, you should get that we have a point up here at 5, 3, which is 5 to the right. And then we have 3 feet beyond, so 5 right and 3 feet beyond, going upwards. And then we have this point down here, which is negative 18, which is short, short of this putt, and then to the left of it. And then we basically find this distance, which we use like x1, y1, x2, y2, or vice versa. And we should get that this is about 22.8 feet. So here's another one I'd love you to practice. So please try this one, pause it, and I will have another answer shortly. So hopefully you got that. We have the tables in the middle. We put that there. And then we want to figure out the distance between those two points. So you could, A, find the midpoint first, which if you did that was at negative 2, negative 2. Um, so you could have done that um, to put that there. And then we could have found the distance between negative 2, negative 2, and 2, negative 3. Or you could have just find the distance between the flower and the grill and then divided it by 2. So overall, you should get that 4.1 feet rounded to the nearest tenth.